I guess it's just a moment of remembering how far I've come and how far I'm going, that I'm always expanding. <sighs> Context to everything, right? I'm on my period, uh, I'm sleeping long, I'm still crampy. Um, and yeah, everything is kind of on a more chill frequency, like no capacity for stressing out about things so wait should i keep on my sweatpants hmm i just put on this shirt and this sweater vest i don't know if you can see it because everything is black um i kind of feel like wearing something cuter though a little cuter we could also lean into the bagginess and wear these carhartt pants maybe Also, can you see my painting that I started yesterday? No. So I started this painting. Um, I legit just took a piece of cloth. <laughs> and this is gonna be the background. I was thinking of doing something like a light mo motif. So maybe like a sheep, a big sheep or a sheep lamp. But like imagine having to draw the light onto this green background with acrylic paint. Nah, 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 nah. So, in order not to set myself up for failure, I might just do little sheeps all over and flowers. And like, I know it kind of looks like a room. So imagine the sheep like walking on this vertical wall in all directions and there being like a river. Anyways, anyways, it's gonna be something nature inspired. And it's gonna be for my bedroom and I just kind of wanted to add some color in here so it doesn't really matter that it's like good artistic quality I just wanted to get ready a little um, and freshen up for the day <laughs> before I start working just to go from like chill mode to focused mode you know set my intentions hello I was actually also just on a call with my sister, but we both had to poop. So, yeah. My sister's calling. So, so what's your breakfast? First, I got my bread and food. Then, having fried rice with egg. Oh, slay. I might also grab my sunglasses. And then I think if I would go out, I would probably put on a hoodie. So, the spring layers. Okay, so my period yesterday was really terrible. And I was like, okay, this is the last time I'm doing this without a heating pad. Um, the reason I was so confident about ordering this was because I tried my friend's heating pad when I was staying at her place and I had my period. And it really made things 
feel a little more manageable. It was such a comfort. Hello, this is not good. So I ordered it and I can use it still for this period because I still have cramps. So this is the one I got. There's like a fabric sample here. So this is the first thing I got as one of my period essentials and I'm so excited to have this. And you know when you like do the thing where you're like, oh, I need something else from this website, so let me just order it. I wanted to order this anyway, so. But I didn't know that it was also gonna come today. I ordered a chess set. This one is a decorative one. But I thought, look, I'm probably gonna have multiple chess sets and I'm gonna have this one for my living room. I thought it was very cute. So, yay! This is my first chess set, like live chess set. And one reason I got this was honestly to just set up positions and practice by myself. I just wanted to add the three-dimensionality, you know? Cause I play usually just on chess.com. How cute is this? Oh my gosh, I love the colors. <gasps> Should we set it up? I kinda wanna set it up for fun, but I don't really have time. I'm actually amidst doing like admin work, so. This is such a girly board, I love it. Is the queen? That was my unboxing. Now I'm gonna go back to doing admin work, which is very fun. I'm gonna make it fun. I'll continue working on the sofa now so that I can try my heating pad. So this definitely puts me into nap mode. And then I will still keep these fat books over here. I definitely want to clean up this area because look at it. I think I want to keep this box. Ready? This is my setup. I got my warming pillow. I don't know if you can see bourbon, yeah. I had to give him his own pillow because he was stealing mine. And I also already started eating my snacks while I was on a call with my sister. Um, recently, I've been trying out these productivity shots. Matcha, vitamins, adaptogens. It's fun, it's fun. So I'll drink this throughout my study session and I'm so excited. It's another beautiful morning. I woke up so tired and I just went out with bourbon. And I was like telling myself I can go back to sleep. I'm not sure if I want to go back to sleep. What I want to do is shower. Because I didn't do it yesterday. And I feel like I want to shower. So I'm going to go shower and then get dressed for the day. Because it's the weekend and we have endless possibilities. And we also have an apartment that needs cleaning. So, so I have an idea for an outfit. <laughs> Let's try it out. Last night, I was definitely playing dress up at like 11 p.m. And I took some very bad pictures because it was dark basically. <laughs> so that I could remember them. But it's fun to just have like random inspirations. Maybe I want to go look at them. I kind of forgot what I put together. That and then I'm gonna wear this linen shirt. I still need to sew the button on the sleeve again, but I think it's fine. How do we feel about this turtleneck with the collar and the vest? Hmm. I think it's fine. I don't know if you can see this properly. See that? Yeah, so 
That's the ribbon detail. I don't know if we're gonna be able to see it. You can maybe see my laundry over here. I'm so happy that I got that done <laughs> yesterday. Um, yesterday I also went grocery shopping and I got myself a new baking form because I didn't really have a smaller size and every time I wanted to bake something I had to like make too much and recently I've been trying to make baked oats meal prep and I feel like this would be the perfect size for like what two days of baked oats and also I got some coffee I ran out of coffee and was like oh let me just do matcha every day I was just missing it so this one smells so good I um, bought the beans and at our grocery stores we have like coffee grinders which is really scary and anxiety inducing and I wasn't sure what grind setting so let's hope it works <laughs> She was very, very fond of her brother, and she, she adored him. And uh, I think that that when Isaac cut her off, I think it was a, a real, a real blow. In her next novel, *The Mill on the Floss*, Marion wrote about a brother and sister, Tom and Maggie Tulliver, clearly based on herself and Isaac. George. In the book, Maggie returns from an innocent night away with a man and approaches Tom. He assumes she has fallen. So what I've been doing recently is I've been listening to a lot of a lot more podcasts while I've been traveling. I kind of have this like weird phase right now where I'm not super inspired by listening to music and maybe I'm just a bit more curious about learning things that I'm listening to and I've also translated that to YouTube so now I've kind of been exploring some more history channels and since I've just started a couple of courses that um, are relevant to the medieval period like I have this German medieval handwriting course for example I've just been so excited to also just learn more contextual um, history <laughs> to what I've been looking at in my classes. Does that make sense? And then I also have this one literature class where we're going over the periods of English literature and history. And so the Romance period is coming up, which I'm so excited, and also the Victorian period. So I've just been listening to documentaries right now. I'm listening to this one called The Victorian Sex Lives Why Everything You Think You Know Is Wrong by the channel Absolute History it's so fun it's so fun it's like a podcast but they also like add some visuals so that's just an example of what I've been consuming as entertainment and kind of education. I got this chessboard yesterday and set it up in my bookshelf but I actually want to have it on my dining table right now so I can um, practice some openings. I'm gonna put this on my dining table and it might fall but that's fine. <laughs> I'm going to go to the um, chess.com openings section and just look at the most popular openings once again watch some videos so let's start with the sicilian defense hello you want to play chess okay so we're gonna have a chess moment right now um hello yes so the sicilian defense is the most popular response to white
exactly. You need to stay here so I can close this for you. Yeah, I wondering what I'm cooking. I'm warming up some leftover tofu with some mushrooms. And then I also have some rice and I am still I still don't have a rice cooker, which I'm always ashamed of. Like when people when my friends who are not Asians have rice cookers, I'm like shame to the family. But it's okay. It's okay. One day. Now that we have that, put that aside. I have some rice. This is just a reminder to myself that I've always wanted this to be like my evening routine or just like something I do, like a hobby of mine to like have my like ambient lighting on. I mean, this would get more ambient lighting than this, okay? <laughs> and just like playing guitar and like vibing. Girl. And I have my cute ass dog over there. A year ago, I wasn't even living here, y'all. I mean, it's crazy. A year ago, I was seriously so stressed. Wow, I can't even relate to the stress anymore. I guess it's just a moment of remembering how far I've come and how far I'm going, that I'm always expanding. Wow, I mean, oh my gosh. If I were to tell myself a year ago what has been happening and everything I've been doing, holy moly, okay? Um, I might do that like in my birthday letter. We'll see. And what he said is that when he started at San Diego State, his said he was in fact a student there. I said, and he claimed that you played football. He's like, I did play football. I said, so in my head, there's a voice that I don't know. I've done my best, such a long way left to go. I'm gonna find my way. Oh.
Thus, I'm continuing to work on creative projects throughout my studies. Hosting my website on Squarespace has been such a great experience. Whether you're creating a portfolio, selling online products, or building an online community, Squarespace has you covered. I mentioned in my last video that I am redesigning my website, which I'm super excited about because on Squarespace, this process allows for boundless creativity. Beyond the design process, with their amazing customer support and all the tools you need to run a successful business online, whether that is an online shop, hosting an online community with memberships, or selling online courses. If this is what you're looking for, head over to squarespace.com for a free trial. And once you're ready to launch, make sure to go to squarespace.com yusuf for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you to Squarespace. I've forgotten formative memories from my own personal life at this point, okay? First kiss, gone. Why? Because I know about Legion's story. Okay, so um, the tree is really tiny. I kind of want to go crazy. I kind of want to do like a big tree. We need to try that again. Y'all, what if I end up doing a forest? Please, no. Please, girl. I don't want to do a forest. <laughs> I just don't want to. Okay, this tree is too straight. We need to make her a little gay. A little gay tree. What are we saying and where are we going with this tree? I need a little more like... Oh my goodness, it looks like a person! No, <laughs> the tree people are going on a hike. It's like you're walking. Thank you.